Windows 11 being in the development phase right now might not be the most optimized Windows version out there. So here it is, the ultimate Windows 11 gaming and performance optimization guide. Hey guys, Vizio here and in this video you'll learn how you can easily increase the performance of your Windows 11 and get every last bit of speed that your computer has to offer and of course make your Windows 11 PC run faster and definitely make it run better than it used to earlier. So before getting into this video make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and make sure to follow us on Instagram to receive amazing content daily. And with that being said let's just start optimizing our Windows 11. First thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and click on the start button and search for settings. Go ahead and hit enter and go to this last option which is called Windows Update. Now you have to make sure whenever an update is rolled out for your PC, make sure to update your Windows PC as and when any of the updates are rolled out. Since uh, Windows 11 is already in the development phase right now, you'll get updates very often and we need to make sure that our system is always up to date. After you've made sure that your Windows is up to date, what we need to do is we need to click on the start button and we need to go on to the settings. Go to apps and then apps and feature. So from this list, you can go ahead and uninstall any application and program that is installed on your computer. And I would recommend you deleting any of the applications and program that you do not use on your computer. Once you have deleted all of the applications that you do not need, go back to the apps and this time go to apps for website now make sure that everything that is there on this list that you do not use you go ahead and disable that so i for one do not use maps so i'm going to disable that once we're done with that we'll again go to apps and we will go to startup so what we need to do here is we need to turn off all of the applications that you do not want to start whenever you start your PC. So let's say you have shut down your PC and you're trying to start it now. These are the applications, the ones that are toggled on. These are the applications that will get started with every boot startup. So make sure to disable all of them or at least the ones that you do not use. After we're done with changing the settings in the apps menu, what we need to do is we need to go to personalization and you have to ensure that the background or the wallpaper that you have on your computer, it's actually set to a solid wallpaper rather than being a live wallpaper because live wallpapers, they do tend to consume a lot of memory from your computer and they can slow down your PC. So make sure there's a solid background set as your uh, computer's background. If you scroll down a little bit under personalization itself, you will see there's a setting which is called device usage. So you have to ensure that the device usage, you have selected everything that you use this device for from the list of available options. So for example, if you use your laptop or your computer for gaming, you can enable that. If you use it for, let's say, school purposes like taking down notes and building Excel sheets, slideshows, you can enable that as well. We are done with the personalization section. We need to move on to the gaming section of the settings. So go ahead and click on that. Go to Xbox game bar and make sure it is toggled off. Go back to the gaming's option. Go to captures. If this setting which is record what happened is enabled, make sure to toggle it off. Go back again and go to game mode. Make sure that it is enabled. After that, what we need to do is we need to go to the privacy section as we're done with the gaming section of the settings. We need to go to privacy and security and go ahead and click on that. Now make sure that find my device, it is turned off. So if you're using a computer or a laptop that stays at home all the time and you do not tend to take it out of your home to the office or anywhere, any place else, I would recommend that find my device, this setting, you toggle it off. Go back to privacy and security, go to general and this setting which says let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID, you 
can go ahead and toggle that off. Go back a step and go to location. App permission, location. Now make sure that location services, it is toggled off entirely. Go back again and go to notifications. Now make sure notification access, it's turned off as well. Go back again and search for phone calls. Toggle that off as well. If you do not use phone calls feature on your laptop or your computer, I really can't imagine someone who does, but you can turn it off. Same goes with the call history, contacts, you can toggle them off as well. Radios, if you do not use radio feature on your laptop or your computer. Messaging, you can disable that as well. And there is a setting uh, or actually an app permission which is called automatic file downloads. You can disable this if you're not using OneDrive or any other feature like that on your Windows PC. Alright, so we are done with everything that we needed to change in the settings option itself. We can quickly go ahead and move on to the second part of this video. For now, you can go ahead and click on the X button and close this settings option. Next up, what we need to do is we need to click on the start button and we need to search for performance. And you would see this setting which is called adjust the appearance and performance of the windows. You can go ahead and click on that. And if you do not mind having the worst appearance for your computer and having the best performance, of course, you can go ahead and select adjust for best performance and you can go ahead and click on apply and then OK. So this will disable all of the animation, but it will definitely increase the performance of your Windows. Once we're done with that, we need to press Windows button and R button on our computer. Or you can simply go ahead and click on the start button and search for run and open it up. So now you would see at the bottom left hand side corner, this run windows run window pulls up. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up service.msc. I will make sure to mention all of these different run applications that we need to run in the description and you can go ahead and check them out from the description. So there are a couple of services that are recommended that you stop using because they tend to use a lot of space and they're not really necessary for you to use. So I will go ahead and tell you about all of them and you can simply go ahead and toggle them off if you do not actively use it on your computer. So the first one is called download, um, Downloaded Maps Manager. You can go ahead and simply search for Downloaded Maps Manager, double click on it and where it says Startup Type, you can go ahead and make it disabled. Click Apply and OK. Next up is print spooler so this is a setting which is used if you're using printer with your computer or your laptop and if you do not use printer with your laptop or your computer i will recommend you go ahead and click on the stop button and then disable it as well after that we have touch keyboard so if you're using a computer, you shouldn't even have this option. But if you're using a laptop, the touch keyboard that you have on your laptop, this is the service that controls it. So if you're using a mouse with your computer and you do not actively use the touch keyboard, I would recommend disabling it as well. But since I do use the touch keyboard, sometimes I'm not going to disable it right now. After that, we're going to disable the fax service as well. After that, we're going to disable the geolocation service. Next up, we have Windows Biometrics service. If you do not use a fingerprint scanner with your laptop or your computer, I would recommend that you go ahead and disable this setting. And that is all of the services that we needed to disable. And again, we're going to press the Windows and the R button on our computer and search for this other program that is called MS config. Now go ahead and click on services and make sure that this setting which is called hide all Microsoft services is toggled off because we do not want to toggle off any of the Microsoft services that are essential for us to use a computer. 
and after that we can go ahead and click on disable all so make sure that hide all microsoft services is checked and after that you go ahead and click on the disable all button hit apply and click ok you can restart now but if you want to restart your computer after we've made all of the settings after we've changed all of the settings you can definitely do that as well for now i'm just going to go ahead and click on exit without restart and again we're going to press windows button and r button on our keyboard and we're going to search for this folder which is called temp click on continue and delete all of these temporary folders that might have been created while you're trying to install something or while you were just casually browsing through your computer so select all of them and click on the delete button. Do not worry, this won't delete anything um, from your computer. This is just going to delete the temporary files that were created for your computer to function in the background. And if you get an error which says file in use, you can go ahead and click on the skip button because these are the files that are currently being used by your computer. These are the temporary files that are currently being used by your computer and you won't be able to delete them. So go ahead and click on the skip button. You can close this window after that and press Windows button and R button again. And we're going to search for percentage, temp percentage. Hit enter and delete all of these files once again as well. After this, what we need to do is we need to go to the start button and search for command prompt. So search for CMD and run this as administrator. Once you're in command prompt, you need to search for this code. It is called SFC forward slash SFC space forward slash scan now. I will make sure to mention all of this in the description. So you can go ahead and take a look at the description and you can find all of these codes there. Hit enter. So what this SFC slash scan now will do is this will verify if everything that is on your computer, every file that is on your computer is running fine and all the programs that are installed are working fine or not. So hit enter after typing in the code. Give it a couple so of once minutes you see to scan your computer. This message coming up which says Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violation. You can run this second code that I'm also going to mention in the description. It's called DISM space forward slash online forward slash cleanup dash image forward slash restore health and you can go ahead and click enter once this is done you can x out of the command prompt window and you're good to go after we're done with the command prompt codes that we run we need to go to start and we need to search for control panel open it up go to hardware and sound and then click on power options once you click that click on create a power plan and make sure this is set to high performance i only have an option that allows me up to high performance if you have an option that says ultimate performance you can go ahead and select that as well you can name it something like gaming plan and click on the next button turn off display on battery i would say keep it at 20 and plugged in at 30 then click on after this we're going to do some disk cleanup on our windows c drive and for that go ahead and open up your pc go to local disk c right click on it go to properties and click on disk cleanup so this does not have to be the local disk c in your computer any disk actually which has a windows icon right next to it you can go ahead and click on that and right click on that go to properties and click on disk cleanup once we do that you will see this disk cleanup for c drive pull up so now make sure that only the downloaded program files delivery optimization files are not selected rest everything can be selected and you can click on delete files wait for your computer to clear out all of these files after that go ahead and click on ok and close out of this you can repeat the same process for any of the disk partitions that you have on your computer but for now i'm just going to leave it as is after this what we need to do is you need to go onto the link that has given in the description down below and you need to download this file which is called windows 11 optimization pack once you download it go ahead and extract it and first off 
we need to go to this first folder which is called CPU optimization double click on it and run all of these registration entries on your computer so one by one you can go ahead and click on them click on yes and click on yes again repeat the same process for every other registration entry that we have on the computer go back and once you're done with the CPU optimization we're going to repeat the same process for uh, the next folder which is optimization for gaming and performance run all of these one by one after that go back to the main folder and run this file which is called clean temp files after this there are a couple of useful programs that you can use and I will make sure to leave a link for them in the description down below and you can directly go ahead and download it from their respective download pages so the first one in the list it's actually called driver booster 8 and I will make sure to leave a link to download this particular driver booster in the description down below you can go ahead and download it and run it so what this particular application will do it will ensure that all of the drivers that are installed on your windows 11 pc all of them are up to date and they're running as they should so the next one in the list it's called cc cleaner i haven't actually installed it on my computer but what that application does is it identifies any of the application or the files that are there on your computer which you no longer use and it shows you a list of them and if you want to clean them, you can go ahead and clean them and delete them from your system. It's really not necessary for us to install that application, but if you wanted to free up some space on your computer, you can definitely go ahead and use it. The next one on the list, an application which will definitely increase the speed of your computer. It's called Quick CPU. You can go ahead and go to the link given in the description. Go onto the official page of Quick CPU. Scroll down a little bit and depending upon your computer version, if it's a 64 bit, you can download it if your computer is 34 32 bit you can download it from the download list after downloading it go ahead and install it on your computer after downloading it go ahead and install it on your computer and run it make sure that the core parking setting at the bottom right corner it is set to 100 percent the turbo boost it is set to 100 percent as well and the performance setting it's also set to 100 percent so what this will do is this will unpack any of the cores that are there in your processor so after that you can click on the apply button and close out of quick see now in the same optimization folder you will find this timer resolution program as well go ahead and run it as administrator and whenever you're whenever you're trying to play a game or whenever you're starting a game on your computer make sure that you hit this maximum button and once you're done playing the game you can go ahead and click on the default button so that's about it for this video guys hopefully you guys were able to increase the performance of your windows 11 pc make sure to give this video a like and make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss any future updates